What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord Houston. Talking about the Halloween franchise in this video here again today. Talk about a route they could go if they were to, you know, explore this idea of another timeline after the events of Halloween ends, which you know will be the conclusion to David Gordon Green's iteration of the series. So let's explore another idea regarding Daniel Harris back in the role as Jamie Lloyd. And I am going to say that this relates to the H2O timeline. So with the H2O timeline, we know that includes Halloween 1, 2, H2O, and Resurrection for now. What if they explore something that kind of utilizes what was originally planned, which was making H, making the events of H4, H5, and H6 still canon to the events of H2O in that timeline? But we know, of course, that's, that's not what we got. Let's say that we could get a sequel to Resurrection. It's set in the early 2000s still, of course. And we could have Daniel Harris back in the role as Jamie Lloyd. And what we learn is that this is a movie that includes the events of Halloween 1 from 78, Halloween 2 from 1981, Halloween 4, and also the events of Halloween 5. It would also include the events of H2O, and it would also include the events of Resurrection. It does not include the events of Halloween 6. So this would be a timeline where you could ignore the events of 6, but it's still a, basically a new iteration of the H2O timeline. And we could explore a little bit more of that cult stuff, I guess, if you want to do that. Or you could just touch on it, glaze over it, gloss over it briefly, and give us a character return of Jamie Lloyd, who has... We can learn what she's been up to ever since the events of Halloween 5, what she's been through, what happened to her, all of these other things that pertain to her life, and how she's, of course, just reappearing, because I don't have all of that stuff fleshed out right now in my mind. But you could also have her come back, and what, she, what the basis of this movie would be is you have a woman who is returning to see the demise of the individual that killed her mother, killed her brother, and you know Michael Myers. I think this is an idea at one point where Michael Myers was on death row. Let's say Michael Myers is on death row in this movie. And you know, you just have the movie play out from there. This would be, I think, something at least off of the initial idea that I've talked about where it connects the original film to the second film, H4, H5, and then connecting all of that to the events of H2O, Resurrection, but you're ignoring Halloween 6 in there in an effort to, of course, justify why you have Daniel Harris back as Jamie Lloyd, a character who died in Halloween 6, but then also at the same time, this would be a way to kind of be more of what I saw people clamoring they would want to see when it relates to Jamie Lloyd being back and it should have been her and not Karen. The problem there, if they would have brought Jamie Lloyd back in this timeline that we have right now, is that that's not the same Jamie Lloyd that you knew. That's just a, a random new character who doesn't have you, who doesn't have the same experience that you have with them. So it's basically like meeting a new character with this thing where you connect h1 from 78 to h2 to h4 h5 and then connecting that to h2o and resurrection you have that same jamie lloyd who has the experience of halloween 4 and 5 underneath their belt and now they're just back so many years later looking for justice for their mother who died at the beginning of halloween resurrection they're also looking for justice for their brother john tate uh I mean, maybe they bring Josh Hartnett back in an idea like that and let them share that sibling role where they, again, are just out there hunting for Michael Myers. Not, and at this point, not really necessarily hunting. They would want to be going to the uh, going to the trial that he's on, because, again, at this point, I would say the character is on death row. I know that was an original idea at one point for a sequel to Resurrection. So maybe they could explore something like that. But I think in that idea, they had like a son or child of Dr. Loomis, which I feel like would be more random since we didn't really hear about any, any child any time prior. But with this scenario here, you again have a chance to get Daniel Harris back in that role. You can give a lot of people what they wanted because I know some of you still out there want a sequel to Resurrection and see what happens after he woke up at the end of Resurrection and attacked that nurse, I'm assuming. We can see what the fallout from that was. We can see how that's shaped what has gone on since then. How many years later they should place it after Resurrection? I would say maybe one to two max. Uh, Daniel Harris again could come back in the role and she could be Jamie Lloyd. 
I imagine they'd have to do some some stuff, of course, along the way to accommodate the fact that this is supposed to be set in the 2000s and, you know, everybody goes through the aging process. So maybe they'll be able to make Jane, make Daniel Harris look a little bit younger based off of other things they can do with movies now and movie magic. And maybe they can also do the same thing with Josh Hartnett. If he were to share the sibling dual role that I'm kind of thinking about, you could do for a Halloween Resurrection sequel where they're just trying to put an end to the shape. The person that killed their mother, the person who got their mother locked up in an asylum unlock unjustly, I'll say. And then Jamie herself. Again, we could get some details about that cult and what went on at the end of Halloween five and kind of have that glossed over and not made a big deal in the grand scheme of things uh just kind of a little nudge to kind of say hey yeah this is still keeping the cult of thorn canon all that stuff but we're not going to acknowledge it in a grand scale we're not going to try to do too much more digging in that we're going to put the we're going to put the steering wheel back in the control of the shape he's going to be mostly on his own this movie we can learn where jane where jamie was in between the events of five and resurrection and why she's back now what she's been through uh how she learned that Lori was alive and now why she's back to get justice for Lori. and we could go from there and we could have a fun sequel to resurrection come out of that i'm not saying it would be perfect because of course on on paper making a movie like that now i think would be impossible for it to be perfect especially if you were just completely do a sequel straight to resurrection now that movie i think would be one of the more unfavorable movies if it were to be made but at the same time there's still a section of the fandom who would love to see a sequel to resurrection we could also explore just a direct sequel to halloween 4 and still bring the character of jamie lloyd back but at that point you wouldn't have danielle harris back in my head because i would rather see a direct sequel to 4 uh with jamie maybe in an institution now i know dave mccray has talked about this at one point so you'd have to have jamie as a child still which would mean you'd have to have someone else besides jamie lloyd or danielle harris playing her but who knows with all the magic movie magic and i know they have this thing going on with orphan kills where they're bringing the same actor back so who knows but let me know what you guys think about that idea down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss the video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course so let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'll have me to cover in the future without it my guys i will see you in the next video